Well, I got two more of the meat birds done. I still got two left out there. Started throwing in a lightning. I stayed in the rain as long as I could. You could see probably I'm drenched, but uh, enjoying the beer in the garage, Florida. Hopefully it'll blow over and I can get those last two done. I, you know, I was originally just going to do a few of them, but I decided to uh, go ahead and knock them all out while I had it going. And since I was just getting the breast and the the legs and not doing all this, the you know, plucking and all that. Just go ahead and get all 17 done. So, hoping for that. Fingers crossed. Enjoying the beer. That's nice. I always appreciate the rain. Water my other stuff out there. But I kind of would have liked to get done. My phone's kind of creeping down here. But, uh, anyway, hope I can put this video together for you guys. And, and those of you that are thinking about raising meat birds, it's really not that bad. You know, the, the hardest part is uh, putting animals down. But, uh, you know, if you do it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, just got to get out of that mentality they put us in. But uh, not me. I won't, <laughs> I've been able to do this as long as I can remember. But um, meat's definitely better. The breasts are like huge. So nice big huge breast and tastes good, you know what's in it, you know you know where they came from, you know the animal was treated right, and uh, got some good grasses and local stuff and buds and proteins and just all around good. It's not pumped full of water and make it look like this or that. Um, season it up and go to town and make some good meals out of it. So I'm gonna continue doing what I what I do with it. It's just uh, while I'm in here, you know, just talking. You know, I talk a little about you know prepping and where we're going in the world. But um, the reality is, is things like this, in my opinion, is going to do a lot more for you than uh, you know just knowing how to shoot. Not that it's not important. Don't get me wrong. I got my kids. I got all my stuff. I'm, you know. I, prepared, got my guns and my ammo and, and all my stuff. And, uh, I just hope that it doesn't get to that, but we're kind of battling an enemy unseen right now. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to figure our way out around this. That's what Americans do. we got to figure out how to defeat this, you know, what's going on. And uh, I think, you know, the hardest part about it is, is the kids, you know, that's, that's all throughout history, that's where it all starts. They go after our kids, and, you know, and uh, they indoctrinate them, they, they teach them things, they make it be cool to do this or that. It's just how it is. You know, I fell for a lot of them when I was a kid growing up. Luckily, I was able to get myself together, but um, we've got to protect our kids, you know, and, and we can't let these people, like, start doing all the things they're doing to them, you know, like letting them transgender or, or getting this free vasectomies and abortions and, hey, you know, it's not about what you believe about this or that or, you know, female rights or reproductive rights, this or that. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's about, you know, just the common sense approach to all this stuff, you know, and uh, you, you should be thinking about why you're messing around, like, you know, I don't want to get pregnant, or I want to get somebody pregnant, or I'm going to be responsible for this or that. You, you, it, it can't just be like something like, oh, well, I'll just go get abortion and do it again, and get another one again, until I'm ready, and, you know, I'll just keep doing that. That's, that's just not right. And, uh, you know, the stuff with all these people coming across the border, it's, it, you know, you got to be able to go one plus one equals two, not one plus one equals, well, I might have a pronoun, this and that, and whatever. It's one plus one equals two. And you got to be able to say, one, they want to destroy our abilities to have children in our food and in our things and in school and then making them, you know, uh, Race, homosexuality, and things that are not productive and to reproduce Americans. We need Americans, we need our society to replace us, not to be overtaken by people that they're bringing in because 
the way you need to look at it is, is they're socialist people. Whether they're fleeing from tyranny or not is irrelevant. They are socialist people and they have socialist values from, like I said, when they're kids and they're bringing that in to replace and then they're reducing our society, which is the American society, which is, you know, hey, we don't bend the knee. You know, and that's, and we're a common enemy around the world from all these tyrants, from all walks of life, race, religions, colors, and all that. We are the problem, and collectively they all look like, hey, let's get together and get rid of this, and then we'll go after each other. Now, they're not going to tell the people they're working with that they're going to eventually go after them, but we all know that's how it works. And eventually one of them thinks, well, we can get rid of them later, and that's what they continue to do. But you have to be able to put this together and understand, like, that is where we're at. And already in America, there's places that are falling. Unfortunately, it's sad, but that's the truth. You know, you have even San Francisco's gone, you know, Portland's gone, Seattle's gone. San Diego is getting there. Uh, you know, New York's gone. Chicago's gone. You got all places throughout, kinds of different towns throughout the whole South. And you got towns in West Virginia that's just full of meth and meth addicts and people dying and Americans dying. Our economy's getting crushed. Our jobs being taken. You know, so. I really honestly don't think that we're going to be able to stop a lot of this stuff um, without certain things happening. And, you know, I know that's what people strive for, and that's what we should, and that's why, you know, First Amendment was put in where it was first, and then you got the second. But there's going to come a time when, you know, this, this boat's going to get rocked too much, and history has already told us that. And so we're going to come to that point to where it's going to get rough, folks. And we don't even know who's going to make it through the other side. We don't know how many people are going to turn on their own citizens. I mean, you got to understand the people they're bringing in, they're turning against us. Whether they know it or not, they're going to turn them against us. They're, at some point, it's, 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 they make things win-win, whether voluntarily they actually employ them to go after American citizens by these draconian rules and laws and or whether they just build the tender box like they've done in uh, in Colorado you know they kept guns away from certain areas and places and then boom and then now they just they knew that know that's going to happen and what you're seeing is is what you got an exodus that people are leaving, kind of like they're leaving out of California, leaving out of these states, or you have them bending the knee, begging the government. Well, that's how that all happens. They beg the government to, uh, sorry folks, my phone just keeps dripping, dripping down. I think it's rain, but uh, you know, they, they're bending the knee. They're like, Hey, you know, I need you to help me. But the right answer is, is not to be dependent on anybody. And, you know, we're all restricted on even what we need to say, and that's what the problem is, because that's how you know America's starting to collapse. Because what, I'm, what I'd like to tell you, I'm, I'm going to do more damage to my ability to subliminally tell you things by directly saying it, I'll be, I'll be plucked off, picked off just like all communists or, or Nazis, whatever, you know, whatever you want to say, they're, they're all the same, you know, it's just people that want to control other people, and, uh, you know, they'll come and pick me off, whether it be, you know, shadow banning, whether it be cutting my voice off, or not having a dialogue, or, or just not showing, or whatever the case may be. But uh, it's, a, it's a strange thing that we're dealing with, but I think we all kind of understand what's eventually going to come to a head. And, 
you got to remember is that nobody knows the outcome of a battle until after it's over. So don't get so complacent that you think like, oh, we've got this in a bag because we don't, we don't know until it's over and then we don't know what's going to become after it's over. You know, because then people are going to start trying to take away freedoms because they don't want that to happen again. It's just a, a vicious cycle. But the bottom line is if we just respect people, respect each other, unite with each other, have a common sense understanding about capacity and what we're able to can, you know, fix or, or, or support, and you know, you can't have all these people coming here. It's, I mean, it's just the way it is. Anyway, it looks like it's starting to die down outside, so I'll jump off the soapbox. I don't even know if I'll even put that out there, but um, I might chop it up a little bit, but let's get back out here and get to these chickens again.